Okay, let's go ahead and figure out the solution to this nice little math problem here. Now, uh, the first step to solving any math problem, especially a word problem, is to read the problem. So let's go and do that right now. It says, if 30 is 7% of a number, what is the product of that number and 2? So feel free to use a calculator if you think that's going to help you out. But if you can solve this problem, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm actually going to uh, show you the correct result, uh, the correct solution to this problem. But here's the deal. You're going to have to know a little bit about percent in order to do this problem. And then when it comes to practical mathematics, uh, everybody should know something about percent because you just simply can't even... Uh, I would just... Uh, challenge you, okay? How many days will you go without seeing this symbol throughout your day, okay? If you go to the store, you see the percent symbol. If you look at the news, they're talking about inflation and mortgage rates and credit card rates, or, you know, you see sales and advertisements, you see this uh, symbol all day long. So it's a good idea for you to know a little bit about percent. But anyways, I'm going to show you exactly how to solve this problem in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades. It really is my true calling to help students learn mathematics. And I'm going to tell you right now, all of you can be successful in math. And I'm especially speaking to those of you that have a tough time in mathematics. If you failed math before in the past or if you're struggling with math right now, listen, there is hope. Please do not give up. You can be, not only can you just um, pass your math course, right? So not only can you just do that, you can literally get like top grades, A's and B's. You know, you can really turn things around, okay? But you got to believe that. So let me give you the three things real quick that you need to be successful in math. The first is you got to be willing to work hard, right? There are no shortcuts. So if you're like, yeah, I want to uh, do great in math. I want great grades. I really want to learn this stuff. But yeah, I don't really want to work that hard. Well, that's not going to work, right? So you got to work hard. The second thing you, uh, you need is encouragement, okay? And this is really important for those of you out there that struggle in math. Maybe you're frustrated learning math, right? And you kind of want to give up. Listen, I'm giving you encouragement by telling you there's absolutely a path forward for you. So do not give up, okay? Here's what you need. This is the most important thing. Whatever you or whoever you're learning from or whatever you're learning from, okay, you got to understand nothing's more frustrating to sit in a classroom or to watch a, you know, video lesson and you totally don't understand what's going on. Okay, that's where frustration starts. So the key to learning mathematics is to learn from someone or something that you get. Okay, so when you actually are paying attention, you understand the material that's being taught to you. Math is a technical subject, and the way I like to teach math is to explain things in easy-to-understand ways so all students can get it without watering down the material. So if you need help in your current math course or maybe some sort of special test that has math on it that you're getting ready for, something like the GED, SAT, ACT, uh, teacher certification exams, things like that, or if you're homeschooling mathematics, check out my math help program. I'm going to leave a link to it. In the description of this video, I literally have over 100 plus different math courses that span these categories and much, much more. I'm also going to leave links to my math notes in the description as well. Most students take average notes, okay? If you truly want to be great at math, you have to take excellent notes. So if your notes are not yet up to par, you can use my notes if you like. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, answer to this problem. If 30 is 7% of a number, what is the product of that number and 2? The answer is uh, 857, and this is an approximation. So if you have an answer that's pretty close to this, well, I'm going to consider that as a uh, correct solution. But basically, 857.14, excuse me, 857.14 is a pretty good approximation of the answer hopefully you got. Now, if you got an answer that's pretty close to this, let's go ahead and celebrate that with a nice little happy face and A plus, a 100% and a few stars so you can brag to your friends and family that, uh, you know, you solved a pretty interesting math word problem today. Today, So let's go ahead and get into exactly how to solve this problem. So the first three steps to solve any math word problem is step one, you read the problem. 
Step two is you reread the problem. You can never read the problem once and start doing stuff. So you got to read the problem at, a, at least two times. And then I'm going to suggest to you the third step is to read the problem one more time and really make sure you understand the question. All right. So if 30 is 7% of a number, okay, so I'm like, all right, I'm probably looking for what this number is. So if 30 is 7% of a number, what is the product, okay, of that number and two? So the product is what? Well, hopefully, you know, the product is a word for multiplication. If I said the product of three and two, that means three times two. So the product of three and two is six. So that's what this word, uh, word means here. So we're going to want to multiply something together to get our final answer. So what is the product of that number and two? So I'm going to have to take whatever that number is and multiply it by two to get the final answer. And that number, okay, happens to be uh, uh, 30 is 7% of that number. So I'm going to have to figure this part of the problem out to get the number, then multiply by two. And that's how I'm going to get the final answer. So we're going to kind of break this up into two uh, separate uh, um, problems. Okay, the first part of this problem is to, uh, figuring out what is the number. And okay, once we have that number, then we'll find the product of that particular number and two. So let's go ahead and get into that right now. Okay, so here is um, kind of that part of this uh, word problem broken down in this sentence here. So I can do 30 is 7% of what number? 30 is 7% of what number? That's basically the question that's being asked right here. If 30 is 7% of a number, this is really 30 is 7% of what number, right? Well, that's, how, that's how I have to kind of phrase this question in order to figure this out. So 30 is 7% of what number? Well, we can use algebra uh, to solve this problem. Now, I'm going to suggest you use algebra, but if you know how to do this, if you're like an expert with percent and you were taught uh, percent in some great way and you could just figure this out in a different manner, as long as you're not guessing and you know how to get the right answer, that's perfectly fine. But if you're confused, let me go ahead and suggest that you just break this down, you translate this sentence this way. Okay, so we have 30, because I'm going to write 30, we're going to translate this a verbal or English sentence with words into an algebraic or variable sentence, i.e. an equation, so we can solve this equation. So 30, that's 30, is, anytime you see the word, you see the word is in mathematics, you always think of the equal sign. Okay, so 30 is or is equal to, so I'm going to put an uh, equal sign there, so 30 is, notice I'm just translating, 7%. Okay, so we're dealing with percent. Anytime we're trying to find a percent of a number, you're going to have to convert or change your percent into a decimal. So how do we do that? Well, again, hopefully you know a little bit about percent, but basically what you need to do is divide by 100 or move the decimal point over two places to the left. If you need help with percent or any of these uh, basic uh, skills that I'm talking about in this particular um uh, problem, I'm going to suggest that you check out like my pre-algebra course, okay, because in my pre-algebra course I teach basic equation uh, solving as well, of course I teach percent, fractions, all that kind of good stuff. Okay, so 30 is 7%, 7 uh, percent. I'm going to change that percent to a decimal, 0 0.07, right, we just talked about how we're going to do that, of what number? Well, let's use a variable x to represent that number. I don't know what that number is, but I can use a variable to represent uh, that number. So here is my equation, but let's just read the equation uh, this way. Okay, 7% of some number x. Okay, point that would be 0 0.07 times x. So this is 7% of some number is 30. Okay, so I'm not, not exactly translating this from one to one. Okay, I'm kind of ab living this, but basically you can see that this is correct, right? 7% of a, a particular number or 0 0.07 times that number is equal to 30. Okay, so you want to look at your final equation that you wrote and just make sure it makes sense. So once we are, um, have this equation, it's pretty easy to solve this thing. All we need to do is divide both sides of the equation by 0 0.07, and we can use our calculator and take 30, divide that by 0 0.07, that's what x is going to be equal to, and we get approximately 428.57. 
So that's what that number is equal to, 428.57. Now, of course, there's more decimal uh, points there, but uh, we could just kind of round it off right there. So 428.57 is that number. So 30 is 7% of what number? Well, about 428.57. All right, so that's the first part of the problem, probably the uh, hardest par part of the problem. So now we need to find the product of that number and two. Well, what is that number? Well, that number is about 428.57, and the product means we're gonna multiply. We're gonna multiply that number and two together. So 428.57 times two is gonna get us approximately 857.14, and there you go. All right, so if you got this problem right, but you took a different path, as long as you weren't guessing, then that's perfectly fine. But if you're like totally confused with this, well, I'm gonna suggest that you need to brush up on your basic algebra and percent skills, okay? Um, again, when it comes to practical mathematics, nothing's more important than percent. You know, and I can, I can remember, you know, uh, for all these years teaching math, a lot of students um, will say, why do I need to know the quadratic equation? Why do I need to know this algebra stuff and whatnot? Well, listen, I, I guess, you know, those are maybe good points, okay? I would say math is good for you because it's good for your critical thinking skills, et cetera. However, percent, understanding how to deal with percent problems, knowing a lot about percent, is a, uh, I really think is an absolute must for all people, especially adults, because percent has a lot to do with your personal finances, money, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so you wanna know about percent at least uh, as much as um, you, know, you possibly can because there's a lot of different uh, levels of percent problems. Just because you can tell me what 6% of 30 is, right? Go on your calculator, do that real quick. That's one thing, but there's more interesting type of percent problems that you should be able to handle. So hopefully you found this particular problem interesting. If that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.